In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up your Mac OS machine to have Python 3.8 installed. Mac OS comes with Python pre-installed. However, the version of Python that's pre-installed is version 2.7, which was deprecated as of January 1st, 2020. This means it's no longer recommended that you use this version of Python, especially on new projects. We're going to be using the latest version, Python 3.8, in this course, and I'm going to show you how to install that. Typically, I would recommend that you just uninstall the old version of the software and reinstall the new one. However, there are some dependencies on Mac OS that might require Python 2.7 to be available. And we don't want to break anything on our machine. So we're going to install a tool that would allow us to have multiple versions of Python running side by side. This tool is called PyEnv. We're going to install it using a Mac OS package manager called Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager that most developers who work on Mac OS use. It's used to install development packages on your machine, which are useful to help you with the development process. In order to install and use Homebrew, you need to use the terminal. Don't worry if you haven't used the terminal before. We're going to be going into detail about what the terminal is and how to use it later on in this course. For now, just follow along with the steps and you should be able to install Python 3.8. Okay, we're going to start by opening up the link that I've put in the resources of the video to brew.sh. So the link is www.brew.sh. This is the homepage for Homebrew and it has a handy command here which allows you to easily install Homebrew on your system. We're going to copy that command and then we're going to open up the terminal. So the terminal can be found in Finder, Applications, Utilities and Terminal. I recommend adding this to your dock because we're going to be using it many times during this course. Okay, once the terminal is open, you can paste the command for installing Homebrew and hit enter. This is going to ask you for your administrator password. That is the password of the user that you are currently logged in with on your Mac. So type the password and hit enter. And then hit enter to confirm that you want to install the dependencies that Homebrew requires. It's going to go ahead and install something called Xcode Tools. This can take a few minutes to install. So let's wait for that to complete and then we'll continue. Now the installation is asking for our password again. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the same password that I entered before. Okay, now we're going to wait for this to finish. It's now on the second part of the installation. It's installing Homebrew. So it's already installed the Xcode developer tools, which it needed to install first. And now it's installing Homebrew. So it should just take a couple more minutes and then it'll be done. Now we have Homebrew installed on our machine, we can move on to installing PyEnv that we can use to install Python. So in the terminal, we're going to type brew install PyEnv and hit enter. This will download and install PyEnv automatically for us. This is what Homebrew is for, installing packages in the terminal in single lines. So you can basically type brew install and then the package name and it will install and configure it on your system for you. We'll just wait for it to complete installing PyEnv and then we'll configure PyEnv so that it starts automatically with our terminal. PyEnv has been installed successfully. Next we're going to configure our terminal so that it uses PyEnv whenever we start a new instance. Type pyenv init, which is the initialize command for pyenv. This will tell us what we need to do to initialize our pyenv every time we start a new terminal window. Here you can see it says load pyenv automatically by appending the following to and this text here. So what this is, we basically have to copy the content of this and we need to add it to this file here. So this is a path to a file on our system. Well, the file might not exist. If it doesn't exist, then we need to create it and we need to add this content. We can do that by typing nano, then the path of this file. So it's tilde, that tilde 
the squiggly line tilde character means home. So that is your home directory forward slash dot Z S H R C. Now, if you're using an older version of Mac OS, I'm using Mac OS Catalina for this demo. If you're using an older version, then this file might be different. So take the appropriate file for your system that is output in the instructions on the screen. It might say something like bash RC if you're using an older version. Because I'm using Catalina, I'm gonna hit enter here, and this is gonna open up the nano text editor. Nano is a text editor in the terminal. We can paste in the contents of this eval command and then hit Control X to save and it will ask if we want to save the changes. We can hit Y for yes and then hit enter and it will create the new file for us. PyEnv is installed. Next, we're going to use it to install the version of Python. We do that by typing pyenv install and then the version of Python we want to install. We want to install Python 3.8.2 and hit enter. Now pyenv is going to download and install this version of Python on our system. After that's done, we're going to configure pyenv to use this version by default whenever we use the terminal. This way we still have Python 2.7 installed on the system for those applications that need it and we can use Python 3.8 while we're developing and learning Python. We'll just wait for this to finish and then we'll continue. Now Python is installed, the next step is to tell PyEnv that we want to use Python 3.8 as our default version. After we've done that, we're going to test that Python is installed and running correctly. We can configure the default version of Python in PyEnv by modifying a text file. To modify it, we need to type echo, then the version of Python we want to set as default, which is the version that we just set, 3.8.2, then the greater than sign, and tilde forward slash dot pyenv forward slash version. This will create a new file at this location with this contents. So it will echo the text 3.8.2 and it will output it to this text file. This is where pyenv looks every time we run Python so it knows which version to run. Hit enter on that and then we're going to close the terminal. I'm going to type exit. If you type exit, sometimes you need to actually click the X as well. Um, make sure you close the terminal completely. Then we're going to reopen the terminal and I'm going to type Python dash dash version hit enter and we can see that the version of Python running is 3.8.2 and now we know that Python has been successfully installed. 